Now we're going to go to the staccatos, back to elementary. All right. Wrist staccato is what we teach. This is wrist staccato. We do everything in the world to teach our students wrist staccato. Okay. Uh, pecking, bird, trying to get seeds or whatever. Uh, I don't know what else you might use. Anybody else have another thing that they use for wrist? Scratch. Huh? Scratch. Oh, that's different. You have to wait. Oh, she's ahead of us. Oh. <laughs> because this isn't really scratching. It's pecking. Okay. Right? It's pecking. Right. You'll get to scratch. Okay, so anyway, um, now with that then, we go, okay, I want you to do wrist to cut. And oh, well, they do this in the air and they're doing great. Oh, wonderful. Now they get down to the piano. The wrist goes away. Am I right? Mm -hmm. I've been there. Okay, so now, that's why I use this. Hello, I'm giving you a hint that you're supposed to go down and up, down and up, down and up. That's the wrist. Okay, so here is the wrist staccato exercise. Notice you're above the key to start. You come down and up, down and up. that is a forward stroke and a release, and a forward stroke and release. And that, you're on the note a little bit longer, but you're not pushing into the note. Students have a tendency to push into the note when they're doing work on them. So here is a, a, an example. a staccato kind of thing. So. It still is a staccato, an elongated staccato, okay? Um, the bottom one there. You hear it a little bit long, and sometimes there's no uh, tenuto written. Sometimes it's a tenuto with a staccato, but stylistically, there are things that need to be portato just because that's how it's done in that particular uh, time frame. You know, Mozart, Bach, Couperon would be portato. All right, so that's uh, another type of staccato. Scratch. All right. What were you saying? This is the one I remember. All right. 
from the lab. Oh, here, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Scratch. But is that what you said before? No. Okay, what's well, Scratch? Okay, so Scratch is wonderful. The kids love this. Okay, so you just Scratch. All right, basically what you're doing is that the finger is usually on the, out, the, the almost off the key, and you're going like this, and you just do that on your hand. Maybe you have something you're itching, and you're scratching. The kids love this. And the thing is, it has to be... I used a very quiet kind of a thing, and also I did use pedal so that you can see how a staccato thing with pedal adds a nice coloration to sound. 
dig staccato. I also used to call down staccato, but the students like the word dig much better. So I put the word dig. And basically, this is what you're going to be doing with all of these others right now have dealt with the wrist and the fingers, right? And nice free hands. Now, this is also a free sound, but we wanted to get it big. So now I'm going to take away that leverage of this, and we're going to think about this. So if you're dig digging with a shovel, it's going to be this kind of thing. So if you just take your hands and go forward like this, that's what we're talking about. But it's still a, it's not down. It's not like this. That's why we took the down away. We wanted it to be more like a dig kind of thing. Okay, now, you are all familiar with this piece. Um, and I'm going, this is the um, bear, Carrie on Loves, the kids especially. straight down, which most kids like to do. That's percussive. So we want it to be a loud sound, but not percussive. So that's what that would be. Uh, and let's see what I better. So this. Okay. And then this. This is an interesting one, because I'm going to do ups, and I'm going to do downs in this bird mueller block. Ups. As part of their routine, they would do the scales, arpeggios, chords, and then they would do this exercise for staccato. <clears throat> I'm going to just show you some of it because I want you to see how you have to go from one touch to the next touch to the next touch. And you know them so well that you can do them. All right? And this you have. And you have this in your inner hand. Okay? So here, three quarter wrist. <laughs> Cards, and they have to be find the note here, find the note, find the note. That immediacy, and this is the immediacy for knowing these these uh, these touches. They like doing it. It's fun. Okay, I think my college students liked it. 